Don't let the bed bugs bite. Baby stealer. These are tugs you lady left. Quiet! I detest the sound of self-pity. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Oh my god. You. It's been a long time, hasn't it? I don't believe I've ever seen you speechless before. You must forgive me. I could never have imagined our paths would cross again. Certainly not here in Port Charles. I'm as surprised as you are. Must be fate. A cruel twist of fate. Is that any way to speak to your big sister? You are no sister of mine. My sister was Magda Westbourne. I never really cared much for that name. Always reminded me of avant-garde theater and factory workers. Your name, your city, you had no use for either. You let your aspirations and vanity get the better of you. Don't be hard on me for leaving Zurich when I did. I had to get out of there. And it apparently didn't matter whom you left behind. I didn't think you wanted to leave. Some of us didn't get to transform ourselves. You lost your accent, moved to New York, and suddenly Magda Westbourne became Madeline West. You forgot where you came from. I never forgot where I came from, but unlike you, I don't consider myself a slave to the circumstances into which I was born. I was ready, willing, and able to go out and make a new life for myself, a better life. Mm. Well, then, brava. And your couture fashions have added a touch of class to our surroundings. Well, at least I'm not blending into the institutional environment as you are. Ah, oh, Magda, so superior. And yet here we are together in the same place, in the same position. So, tell me, how has this better life worked out for you? Look at me. Look at us, Liesl. Do either one of us have a right to judge the other? Perhaps not, but I doubt that will stop us. So, tell me, dear sister, what did you do this time that landed you here? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. You're still doing the dirty work for that maniacal Dane you used to follow around after... What was his name? Faison. Don't you dare speak his name to me. Struck a nerve, huh? My present accommodations have nothing to do with Cesar. Everything I did, I did for my daughter. What's your excuse? Well, Lisa, I guess maybe we are jailbirds of a feather. I'm in here also because of what I did for my child. 